we go on about closed shackle padlocks on our site quite a lot, for, but for good reason. So the most common attack on a padlock is using a crowbar, not a cordless angle grinder or picking, although they do happen. Cordless angle grinders are so noisy that they're just not that commonly used. Um, crowbars are cheap and silent, and that is the main risk to a padlock. So we're in here in our warehouse on one of our huge steel doors and our hardened steel hasp and one of the best padlocks in the world. So arguably you've got a very good setup here, but look how easy it is to get in a crowbar into the gap. Now my weight on the end of that um, is going to produce huge leverage on that padlock. And unless it's like one of the best ones, it's just not going to hold. So let's do the same again, but with a closed shackle padlock. You can see the aperture in the middle is much smaller and you can't get really this in far enough to be able to do anything. If you go for a smaller closed shackle padlock, even better, where the aperture is even smaller. So take a discus lock, the aperture is absolutely tiny. You wouldn't even get the smallest crowbar in there. So even though this padlock is much less secure or much not as strong um, as say the big granite lock, in practice, it's gonna be very difficult to get a discus lock off with a crowbar. So that's why closed shackle padlocks are particularly good and where possible we would recommend using them. Thank <laughs> you.